In today's video, I'm going to play the entire career of Alejandro Garnacho. That means 15 seasons to see if he can get to a 99 overall. But not just that. We've got six other challenges that we're going to try and complete with Garnacho, like scoring 400 career goals, winning a World Cup with Argentina, and even winning five Ballon d'Ors like his idol Ronaldo. That's the funny thing. Garnacho's Argentinian, but he's like the biggest Ronaldo fan out there. He even wears CR7 underwears. Ah, cheeky boy. But let's see if Garnacho can complete all seven of these challenges, because only then we can call him the GOAT. Here we go, guys. Season one. And of course, Garnacho is starting out at Manchester United. 19 years old, 74 rated, and he's actually got good stats already, like a lot of pace, decent dribbling. Straight up, we're going to put him on a development plan. Need to boost up that shooting as much as possible. Ah, but the problem at Manchester United is Garnacho is not going to get much game time. There's already Marcus Rashford at the club, Sam you as well, Amon Diallo. I mean, we do have the option to potentially loan out Garnacho, but nah, I want to see him fight for his place at Man United and become a starter. And so we're making it through the first season to see what Garnacho can do. We're at the end of the season and Garnacho only played three games? He didn't even score a single goal. At least overall wise, there was some growth. He's gone up to a 77 rating. Ooh, and even Man United on the pitch couldn't do anything. They finished sixth in the Premier League. Oh, wow. Garnacho actually won a trophy for Man United, but I don't think he played a single game, so he probably didn't even get the medal. Bruh. And Champions League, they got knocked out as well. You know what's funny? We've literally made zero progress towards any of Garnacho's challenges. But hey, it's just the start. We've still got 14 more seasons, but I don't think we should be wasting any more time at Man United. We've got to get Garnacho out of here. Because yeah, there's no point staying if he's not going to get any game time. The question we have though is for season two, do we transfer list Garnacho? But that could mean he might never return to Man United. And that's something I don't want. Maybe we can send him out on loan. Let's see what kind of clubs come in with offers. Wait, what? Of all clubs, Liverpool have come in with an offer? Nah, we can't do that. Plus at Liverpool, he's not going to get any game time either. What's up with all the other big Premier League clubs trying to steal Garnacho? Arsenal want him as well. Now, we need to go to a smaller club where Garnacho can play week in, week out. Oh, that's more like it. RB Leipzig. That could be a great club for Garnacho to develop. Philippine. All right, let's do a one-year loan deal there. And there you go, boys. Garnacho has packed his bags and he's off to Germany to play for RB Leipzig. I mean, it was the only way because at Man United, he was barely getting any game time. And there you go. For season two, we've got Garnacho and RB Leipzig. It's just a one-year loan deal. We just need Garnacho to get a lot of game time here and hopefully actually score his first goal because yeah, he's still on zero goals and zero assists. Tell you what, he's actually playing in a very good Leipzig team. Openda is here, Barat as well, Danny Olmo. Actually, there might be a bit of competition for Garnacho's starting spot, to be honest. But I'm just hoping he can do well in this loan spell. Time to see what Garnacho can do in the Bundesliga. Oh, this is much better. Garnacho was actually a key part of this Leipzig team. He played 43 games, also scored 11 goals and one assist. Finally, he broke his duck. And these goals are going to help towards the challenges. But also, the important thing is, Garnacho went up to an 81 overall, which is awesome. Oh, wow, he also helped RB Leipzig finished third and they topped their Champions League group with Barcelona in it. But yeah, they did get knocked out by Chelsea. But wait, Garnacho's got a chance to win a trophy with RB Leipzig? Yo, this would actually be huge. Winning the German Cup in his loan spell and he's done it. And he actually scored the winning penalty. You bet he took his shirt off and dropped the Sui celebration. But yeah, this has been a very successful loan spell. Hopefully he can now go back to Man United and get some solid game time. Wait, Wait a minute, what just happened? Garnacho just returned to Man United and his rating just bumped up to 84. I'm extremely confused, but I'll take it. And also, I can't recognize this Man United team. Hoyland is 88 rated. You've got Bruno Fernandes, Mason Mount, Labotka is a new signing. The team looks so much better. Oh, and I think Man United sold Marcus Rashford. But yep, that's good news for Garnacho because he can now play hopefully every single game for Man United. And we kind of need him to. Because look at our challenges. We've barely made any progress. We need 400 goals and Garnacho has scored only 11. Forget winning five Champions Leagues and five Ballon d'Ors. Yeah, that's that's just crazy far ahead. But at least this season, we can make a bit of progress towards the goals and assists. And so we're getting through the season to see what Garnacho can do back at Man United. End of the season and Garnacho only went up by one rating. That's a bit sad. But to be fair, he just got a random boost at the start of the season 
season by three ratings, so I can't complain. And right now, his stats actually look crazy. 85 finishing, that pace is just ridiculous. The dribbling's there. And look at that, he's got five-star skills and five-star weak foot. But the important thing is whether he got game time. And oh, wow, he did. He played the most games for Man United this season, scored 21 goals, joined top scorer along with Hoyland, and he got nine assists as well. I'm sure he was Man United's player of the season. Ah, but Man United are just so washed, man, honestly. One of the challenges we've got for Garnacho is to win the Prem, win La Liga, and win Serie A. Kind of inspired from Cristiano Ronaldo's career. But how is he going to win the Premier League with this Man United team? I've got no idea. But hey, the good news is, Garnacho's good performances for Man United have got him the call-up for Argentina. He's going to be playing the World Cup. And okay, it's not the best of starts for Argentina, but they've got out of their group. They knocked out Hungary in the round of 16. In fact, they destroyed them. Wait, what? Qatar knocked out Argentina? That might be the craziest upset in World Cup history. Who actually won the World Cup then? Portugal. Wow. Maybe Ronaldo was part of the squad, man. Who knows? Let's see if Garnacho did anything at the World Cup. And oh, he actually scored three goals. Not bad at all, but he couldn't win it. And since one of the objectives we've got is to win the World Cup, it's, it's kind of tough. I think if my calculations are correct, Garnacho should get two more opportunities to win the World Cup. And hopefully he can get it then when he's a lot higher rated. Okay, the World Cup is done now. Garnacho is back at Man United. 22 years old, 86 rated. We're definitely doing well to hit that 99 overall mark. The question I have right now is, should we maybe leave Manchester United? I mean, their team's good. But you guys saw last season, they didn't even qualify for Champions League. And we need Garnacho to start winning those kind of trophies. At the same time, I also want to see Garnacho win the Premier League with Man United. Maybe we give him one last shot at Man United to do that. Okay, yeah, I don't think Man United and Garnacho are winning the Premier League anytime soon, especially in the era of Man City. Look at the points gap. Even in the Europa League, Man United just got knocked out. Individually, though, Garnacho is now up to an 88 overall, and he had another solid season scoring 20 goals and getting three assists. But I think it's time to free Garnacho, man. We need to get him out of Man United if we want to complete the challenges. Here we go, boys. 23-year-old Garnacho. We're gonna now transfer list him and see what kind of clubs come in for him. Maybe one of the big clubs from Spain? His contract's expiring in 12 months too, so I'm sure there should be some solid interest. Oh, and we've got the first offer coming and it's from Wolves? That would legit be a step back. We're not winning any trophies there. Absolutely rejecting it. Oh, Real Madrid. I was waiting for this to happen, but I didn't expect it. Real Madrid have come in with 108 million for Garnacho. And let me just pull up the challenges. Winning five Champions Leagues is one of our challenges. And the only club where I think Garnacho can make that happen is Real Madrid. And so for season five, Garnacho is making the mega transfer to Real Madrid. Kind of similar to Cristiano Ronaldo, you know? But yeah, the only difference is Ronaldo moved to Real Madrid after winning the Champions League, the Premier League, the Ballon d'Or, everything. Whereas so far, Garnacho has not really done anything big. But I'm hoping playing in this instant Real Madrid team will get Garnacho closer to all the personal awards. He's gonna have to play on the right side though to accommodate Vinny Jr. because he's still the guy for Madrid. But I think Garnacho can play there. This season I kind of want to boost Garnacho's passing stats. So we'll put him on the wide playmaker plan. And it's time to see what Garnacho can do at the biggest club in the world. This is why you join Real Madrid, man. First season at the club and he's already won La Liga. Champions League 2, Madrid have topped the group. Knocking out Dortmund. Inter as well. And PSG in the semis, no way. An El Clasico Champions League final. Garnacho's first season at Madrid is gonna be like a movie. Oh, and he mastered the right wing position and he's gone up to a 90 overall as well. Okay, didn't have the craziest stats, but first season at Madrid, still scoring 20 goals, 9 assists, not bad at all. But guys, the important thing is to see if Garnacho can win his first ever Champions League. And yes, he's actually scored a brace. Wait, he may have scored a hat trick. No, he did but still a couple of goals in the Champions League final. That's outrageous. Look at the progress we've made with the challenges just by joining Real Madrid. We're getting closer to 100 goals. We've already won La Liga and a Champions League in the bag. There's absolutely no doubt we're staying at Real Madrid for a while. All right, since we are staying at Real Madrid for season six, I'm kind of wondering, is it time for him to maybe start being in the Ballon d'Or conversations? Nope. Well, not while Vinicius is still at the club. Vinicius is right now 95 rated, man. 
Garnacho is still far away from that. He's 91. I think it's gonna take a while before we start seeing Garnacho win the Ballon d'Or. For now, let's see what Garnacho does in his second season at Madrid. And there you go. That's back-to-back -back La Ligas for Garnacho. Oh, wow. He's had his best individual season as well, scoring 37 goals. Dennis is too. Look at his stats now, up to a 92 overall. We're getting to that 99 very soon at this rate. But wait, what? Knocked out by Spurs in the Champions League? Ah, oh, that's such an L. I'm looking at Garnacho's challenges and we still need to win four more Champions Leagues. Good thing is we have crossed the 100 goal mark. But yeah, is it time to maybe look at another club to help with the challenges? I, I, I don't think so. I mean, Garnacho's just had his best season and I guess while it's working, we gotta stay at Madrid. But yeah, this is the one problem that we're gonna constantly have being at Real Madrid in the shadows of Vinicius Jr. You could actually see Garnacho sitting there beside him. He probably finished second or third in the Ballon d'Or rankings. To win the Ballon d'Or, I guess we're gonna have to leave at some point. But see, this is why it's so difficult to leave Real Madrid, because look at that, another Champions League final. Also, look at the trophies Garnacho is collecting, another La Liga. But of course, the big one is the Champions League. If Garnacho can win this, that would be Champions League number two, and of course, he's done it. Another good season stats-wise for Garnacho, not as crazy as the last one, 20 goals, 12 assists. You know what, I think it's time to leave Real Madrid, because it's constantly going to be Vinny Jr. as the main guy. Garnacho needs to find his own path, but before that, it's 2030, and Garnacho's got another shot at winning the World Cup. Okay, a reasonable start from Argentina, getting out of their group. Oh, they knocked out France. They could actually win the World Cup this time around. No way. England on penalties. That is so harsh. Garnacho actually got a goal and an assist, but yeah, it was not enough. He'll get one more attempt after four years, or maybe even two more attempts. I'm not entirely sure. We'll see. But yeah, Garnacho is now 26, so time is kind of running out for him to win a World Cup. But yes, guys, to start Season 8, we're making the decision to transfer list Garnacho. He had a disappointing World Cup. It's time to move on from that, maybe at a different club. And let's see what kind of offers he gets. I mean, so far, Garnacho's career has been up and down, I'd say. A couple of Champions Leagues is awesome. Winning La Liga is awesome. But goals and assists-wise, I think he could have done better. 135 goals, 45 assists. The stats need to be a bit better. Maybe it will improve if he joins a club where he's the main man. Well, the first offer is coming, Bruh. and it's from Wolfsburg. Guys, he's not going to win the Ballon d'Or or anything at Wolfsburg. What even is this? Hopefully, we get good offers, man. I, I don't want to see Garnacho going to Wolfsburg. Wait, what? Leicester City have put in an offer? Bro, where are the big clubs of the world? Okay, finally, now we're talking, boys. PSG have come in with an offer for Garnacho. But once again, I feel like Garnacho is going to be in the shadow of Mbappe. And then there's literally no chance of winning the Ballon d'Or. I cannot believe this, but I'm rejecting PSG. Hold up. Napoli have come in with an offer now. Bro, the storyline, Garnacho doing what Diego Maradona did all those years ago. There's something special about that. And that's that from Real Madrid to Napoli. Garnacho has made the move. You know what? I think we've made the right choice because this Napoli team is actually crazy. They've managed to keep hold of Osimhen and Quara Chiquilia, and they've got Donnarumma in goal. But the good thing is Garnacho is still the highest rated player in this team. By the way, Garnacho is 26 and I think we need to start pushing for that 99 overall soon. I mean, we've got the correct development plans and all and let's just hope he can grow fast. We're getting through his first season in the Serie A and there you go, Garnacho wins the Serie A. Just like his idol Ronaldo did with Juventus, Garnacho has now won La Liga as well as the Italian League. Oh, and a reasonable season couldn't outscore Osimhen, but he went up to a 94 overall, 23 goals, 14 assist, slowly racking up them stats. But let's see if Garnacho can win his third Champions League, and well, doesn't look like it. Ah, seeing Madrid there annoys me. Wait, what? Napoli weren't even in the Champions League. I can't believe it. We were in the Conference League, and we didn't even win that. Do you know what? I think we gotta give Garnacho at least one season at Napoli in the Champions League to see if he can do a madness. It just hit me, guys. We're now in Season 9. Garnacho is 27, and he hasn't won a single Ballon d'Or. I'm hoping that that will change soon because he's 95 rated because if we don't start winning the Ballon d'Or now, I don't think he's going to get to the total of five that we need. Wait a minute, guys. The Ballon d'Or cutscene is just played. Is it going to be Garnacho? It, 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 it might be him. It might be him. First Ballon d'Or for Alejandro Garnacho. It only took him nine 
seasons, but he's actually done it. Let's go. I guess winning the Serie A with Napoli was more than enough to get him that award. Let's go, boys. Garnacho Ballon d'Or winner. That's number one secured. We need to get four more of these golden balls, though. As if winning the Ballon d'Or wasn't enough, he's gone ahead and won another Serie A title. And no way. He could do what Maradona did back then. Champions League with Napoli? This would legit be crazy. Wait a minute. Are you seeing his overall? He's gone up to a 98 rating. Could he actually do it with Napoli? And they've done it. Garnacho scored as well. And this time it's Garnacho standing beside that Champions League trophy. That's why we left Real Madrid. Number three for Garnacho. Oh, wow. He's had his career best season. 49 goals. I guess the decision to move to Napoli to make him the star was the best thing we did. You know what? After the crazy season Garnacho has had, I, I just can't transfer this to him yet. Because if we do, he might not end up winning the Ballon d'Or. I've seen that happen a lot. So I guess one more season, we've got to keep him here. Plus, look at his overall. He's at 98. This could be the season he becomes 99 rated. See, I told you, we had to stay at Napoli to get Garnacho's second Ballon d'Or. Now it's starting to look he might be able to equal Ronaldo's five Ballon d'Or record. No way, guys. Another Champions League final and against Leverkusen. Yo, we made the right decision to keep Garnacho at Napoli. Not just that, he's gone up to a 99 overall and we finally completed a challenge with him and it took us 10 seasons to do it. But let's see if he can win his fourth Champions League now. It would be insane if he does it. Oh, come on. On penalties, Garnacho did his job. He scored his pen, but the team let him down. Did he score during the game? He didn't, but that's, that's tough. Stats-wise, another incredible season though for Garnacho. 36 goals, 20 assists. And yep, after 10 seasons, we've got Garnacho to a 99 overall. He scored 243 goals. We're looking good for Champions Leagues and Ballon d'Ors too. But there's one thing left. We haven't won the Premier League with him. When he was at Man United at the start, he was barely given any game time. And Man United were terrible. I think now, especially since he's 99 rated, it's, it's time to send him back to the Premier League to see if he can get it done in the most difficult competition in the world. Before we transfer this Garnacho, if you guys could help me out by subscribing that would be amazing we're so close to a million subscribers and with your help we can get there soon enough oh and also in the comment section let me know if you guys want to see another 15 season player career but i don't know who we should do it with let me know in the comments all right boys we're transfer listing a 99 rated garnacha who's 29 years old i'm hoping we get some offers from the premier league because that's where i want to go but guys we may have a problem we're on transfer deadline day and not a single offer has come for literally the best player in the game. 99 rated Garnacho and it seems like nobody wants him. I think that's more got to do with the fact that his value right now is crazy and I guess nobody can afford him. But we need to get him to the Premier League. So here's what we're gonna do. I've put the top six clubs in the Premier League on this wheel and we're spinning it now and wherever it lands is where Garnacho's gonna be heading. Wow, Arsenal. Okay, Man United fans are gonna be pissed. And for season 11, Garnacho is joining Arsenal. Bro looks weird in an Arsenal kit. I'm, I'm gonna say that for sure. But you know what? This Arsenal team's decent. Bukayo Saka is still playing. It might be finally time to get Garnacho to play in his actual position, which is down the left. I'm actually really curious to see what a 99 rated player can do in the Premier League. Expectation is to win it. But wait, it looks like first we gotta see Garnacho win another Ballon d'Or. That's number three. I kind of thought after moving to Arsenal, he might not win it. But he's 99 rated now. There's no way he's not winning more of these. But oh, wow. Oh, on the pitch, it's not been easy for Arsenal. They only finished fourth. And Champions League 2, they got knocked out in the round of 16. Okay, at least tell me Garnacho individually performed. And by the looks of it, yeah, he was the top scorer of the club. 20 goals, 6 assists. But I'm looking at our challenges, and I don't think that's enough. I don't think we're going to win the Premier League with Arsenal. Maybe we need to find a way to get Garnacho to join Man United once again. But before that, it's Garnacho's final chance to win the World Cup. And well, they've started off strong by winning their group. Round of 16, they knocked out Iceland. Okay, this is going great. Knocking out Germany on penalties. No way, they won the semi-finals as well. And it's gonna be Argentina versus Denmark in the finals. And they've done it. Argentina have won the World Cup. Garnacho, in what could be his final attempt at the World Cup, has actually won it. With that, we've completed another one of our big challenges. What a picture, boys. Argentina with the fake World Cup. I wish the World Cup was licensed in the game. 
game. Oh, but what about seeing here? Garnacho was the top scorer at the World Cup. A total of six goals and one assist. I mean, he's he's had his messy moment. With the World Cup win secured, I think we just need to put Garnacho on the transfer list. Get him to maybe Man United back again, because I think he might have a chance to win the Premier League there. Can we please get some offers, man? That's the main thing, because if we can't, we're going to have to rely on the wheel. It's like once you get to a 99 overall, no club wants to buy you. It just makes no sense. Once again, we're on deadline day and not a single offer for the best player in the game. You just know the wheel is enjoying this carnage, man. Hopefully, we don't have to keep him at Arsenal for another season. Yes, Man City! I mean, I shouldn't be happy because Garnacho is probably a Man United fan. Man United fans, just, just cover your eyes in horror because Garnacho is a Man City player. And to be honest, playing alongside Erling Holland, Rodrigo, look at that team. There's no way he doesn't win the Premier League. Okay, wait a minute. Have we messed up by joining Man City because they gave Erling Holland the Ballon d'Or? We still need to win two more for the objective. Well, I think Garnacho is going to have to fight for it. Well, at least we won the Premier League and by a big margin. And that completes our objective of winning the Premier League, Serie A and La Liga. Ah, it took us a while to get that one out of the way. And to be honest, Garnacho has had a solid season on the pitch too. 32 goals and 24 assists. And that means he's now crossed 301 goals. All we need now is a couple of Ballon d'Ors and a couple of Champions Leagues. And I don't think there's a better club to be at than Man City for that. Main question I'm worried about is who's going to win the Ballon d'Or? Holland or Garnacho? Please be Garnacho. I think it is. Yes, it is Alejandro Garnacho. That's Ballon d'Or number four. The season ends and we secure another Premier League title. But what matters though is another Champions League. But we just seemingly can't win it. Oh, wow. We got knocked out by Wolves. Garnacho had a crazy season yet again, though. 37 goals, 14 assists. But I think maybe to win the Champions League, Man City ain't it. Do we send him elsewhere? Okay, guys, this is season 14. Two seasons and career mode itself is gonna, like, shut down because the maximum you can do is 15. But yeah, look at our objectives. I'm confident we'll get the goals one done. Assists is gonna be tough. Ballon d'Ors, yep, he should, he should get that done. But to win the Champions League, I don't think we'll do it at City. And so a 32 year old Garnacho. We're putting him on the transfer list. I think he might start going down in his overall soon, but I'm hoping this time we'll at least get offers for him. Okay, we do get an offer for Garnacho, but it's from Arsenal. Guys, we were just there and things weren't good. We'll wait, boys, until we get a better offer and Real Sociedad. Ah, not them too. Oh, Manchester United. This might be it. To complete the story of Garnacho, final couple of seasons at Man United. Yes, sir. He's back, guys. He's back where it all started. Garnacho is back being a Man United player. It's kind of funny how we're transferring him from Man City to Man United. Bro has no loyalty between the Manchester clubs. He's moving around like it's nothing. Oh, to be fair, Garnacho's got his old pal Rasmus Hoyland up top, but the rest of the team it's pretty tragic. I don't know if Garnacho can carry this team to a Champions League, but we'll see. The first thing, Ballon d'Or winner, and yes, Garnacho wins another one. That's the number five we needed. All we now need is Garnacho to deliver in the Champions League. Wait a minute. End of the season and we weren't even in the Champions League? No way we were in the Europa League. I didn't even realize. I shouldn't have joined Man United. I just got emotional seeing Garnacho returning back to the club he started at. And look what it's resulted in. No way. There's no happy endings at Man United, man. Fifth. That means no Champions League next season as well. Bro, what have we done? He's even gone down to a 96 overall this season. 22 goals and 14 assists is still decent, but now it's basically impossible for Garnacho to complete the Champions League objectives. Plus, we need 40 goals in the last season to complete that. I think we're gonna need to send Garnacho to maybe another league, another club. Or actually, you know what? In Garnacho's final season as a 33-year-old, let's not abandon ship. Maybe let's try and win them the Europa League. That'll be a fitting way for him to go out. And so we're getting through Garnacho's final season. Okay, I think we should have transferred Garnacho because they got humiliated in the Europa League. Okay, this is even worse. 12th in the Premier League? Ah, it's kind of a depressing ending to Garnacho's career, isn't it? 94 overall he's gone down to. He still was the top scorer with 25 goals and 7 assists. And after a full 15 season career, Garnacho missed out on getting 400 career goals, but he reached 385. Yeah, let's not even talk about the assist one. What I'm annoyed about is the Champions League. I think we could have won more with Garnacho. But hey, he still won 5 ballots on doors a world cup i doubt he'll complain with a career like this but hey if you enjoyed this video i'm sure you'll enjoy me playing the career of killian 
Mbappe. That was crazy. Click here to watch that.